Hi friends, I am Shravana Lakshmi and welcome back to my channel Sparkling Future. Before starting with today's topic, I request all of you to subscribe to my channel and also please like, share, comment and hit the bell icon for the latest video notifications. Thank you. Friends, in the previous videos we have seen how the Spark memory can be allocated based on the memory available in the cluster. And also we have already seen how a Spark submit job can be submitted in various deployment modes and when we submit the uh, spark job in cluster mode what exactly will happen means the spark session request uh, request a yarn resource manager for starting the driver and uh, for the executor course then yarn resource manager will start the driver in an application master container then the application master will start the driver in any of the worker nodes then again the driver reaches to yarn resource manager for starting the executor course and similarly if you submit any PySpark application the application will have PySpark driver and we will have python workers this is what we have seen in the previous videos so now let us say we have a 1TB file and how to allocate memory and how to process it using the spark job and before that let us see how the memory allocation will happen exactly in the cluster based on the configurations. Let us say we have a cluster like this and in the worker node we, we were supposed to set the driver right in the cluster mode. So let us say we are giving the spark driver memory overhead and memory these two are the configurations that we can set up for configuring the driver memory and let us say we are giving 4 GB for the uh, driver uh, for the uh, spark driver memory so here 4 GB and the mem memory overhead usually between 7 to 10 percent ok let us say I uh, will take it as 400 MB ok so which means that for this driver we are allocating 4 GB main heap memory and off heap memory 400 MB and when we are working with driver let us say that 4G data is exceeded then only we get out of memory exception and also when this 400 MB data we, we are allocating for the memory overhead in such cases uh, I mean in, 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 in some cases what will happen is this 400 MB will be overflown due to some other network bandwidth issues or something buffer issues so in such case we get memory overhead uh, out of uh, memory overhead exception out of memory overhead exception uh, when um, this place is overflown and out of memory exception when this particular heap uh, space is overflown and similarly this is for the driver and for the similarly uh, for the executors also uh, and how we can divide the memory usually is the memory plus memory overhead plus off heap size based on that we will allocate some uh, memory for each executor so based on that we have to configure these three parameters like uh, configurations like spark executor memory overhead, spark executor memory, spark memory of heap size and if we are submitting uh, some any PySpark application then we may need to use spark executor PySpark memory as well. So and uh, this memory overhead right that is usually used for any um, demands to be run or any of the network uh, buffers to for that we will uh, use it so let us say for uh, this spark executor memory we are uh, saying that 6 GB is the one we need for each executor and by default we are taking 10 percent right so it will be around 600 MB for all these also so let us say these um, we are here uh, these are the configurations we will uh, send through spark submit command and here let us say we are mentioning as 6 GB but whereas just imagine that these executors are having only 4 GB memory which means that the maximum allocated memory for that is only 4 GB but you are asking for 6 GB then it is not going to work right so for that what you have to do is just confirm with the cluster admin about the memory details of the cluster 
what is the maximum allowed value based on that only you can set it up these parameters in the configurations okay this is how we can provide the memory allocations based on that like what are the configurations we have to set it up and how much so for off heap size you can leave as zero but these two are the very important for like executor memory and executor memory overhead and similarly for driver driver memory driver memory overhead based on whatever values you are going to give based on that we are going to get the memory details so now let's say we have one terabyte fi file and that file is stored in hadoop let's say so each hdfs block size is 128 mb so the file will be split into blocks and then we need i mean approximately 84 lakh, lakh blocks and let's say we have a small cluster here i'll, I'll just mention it the cluster details let's say we have 20 executors and 5 cores 5 executor cores on each executor so we can ma at max we can run 100 tasks in parallel correct when we submit a spark job at max because based on the available uh, cluster capacity at max it can run 100 tasks in parallel so but here for the data of one terabyte file we have to run for 84 lakh blocks so what will happen is one so first time the first set completes with the available 100 tasks which means 100 threads and then the next 100 tasks will be considered for the next run and this process goes until all the blocks completes their processing and also we don't have to keep this entire 1 TB file into memory it can be in any anywhere in Hadoop or Amazon web services wherever it is let it be there but when spark job is submitted on that file it does it necessarily doesn't have to have that one terabyte of memory in the spark because spark will read the data by partition by partition and it will process that as task by task only so how many how much terabytes of data you have it doesn't matter it matter what matters is how many executors and executor cores you have and how many tasks can be run through spark job parallelly based on that after one after the other ones for example if the first executor will have 100 tasks uh, then here second one 100 tasks third one 100 tasks and fourth one 100 tasks let's say second one is completed first then it will again take that next 100 tasks at a time okay uh, i mean i mean to say what i mean to say is it will pick up it will pick up the next available uh, what is it uh, the processing it will pick it up so similarly one by one it will all these executors will be uh, running continuously until all the blocks are processed okay then finally the result will be sent to the driver so this is how we can work with large file and these are the main configuration that we need to set for the spark memory allocation hope this is useful to you friends thank you for watching the video please subscribe to my channel for more interesting learnings thank you